so Hello, my friends. Okay. I'm so delighted to have here from uh, UK, from London, uh, Roxanne, Roxanne Depardieu. Are you there? Can you hear yes, me? Yes, hello. Uh, hello, Roxanne. So I finally, can hear you. finally, we managed uh, to arrange this interview because you are plenty of uh, uh, business meeting and art uh, shows all over Europe. So I just that, want to you know. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to ask you, how was it your experience in Milan? Uh, it was really good. The people were really nice and so was the food. Uh, it was my first time there, and and yeah, it was it was very nice. I, okay, um, I have nothing bad bad to say about it. Okay, so my first question is: When do you discover to have uh, uh, the uh, interesting in both in art and both in uh, cinema? So how, how do you understand this, that you were uh, keen to uh, drawing and also to <laughs> act? It was uh, something that uh, oh, let, happens let me, together. I'm not, an, I'm, I'm not an actress. I've, I've just been in my mother's movie, but I, I grew up in a, a family of, of uh, cinema. So I grew up on a lot of film sets, and um, and I like I like working behind the scenes, like all the technicians work, the lighting, the costumes. So I've I've worked on movies in those uh, positions, and that's my favorite. All the making and uh, for art, I've I've drawn since I was little. My my stepfather would make me draw my nightmares before going to bed, and then I. I lived in, I was a lot in Africa. My mom's from Senegal. So we were always, I was always drawing the animals around and sculpting a lot too. And then I, I studied art like most of my life. I, in high school, I, I had art as a higher level. Then I went to California Institute of the Arts and studied animation and piano because I'm obsessed with the animation and Disney. Um, but I like, I like mostly hands, like hand techniques. I don't, I don't really like, I don't like computers. I like to make everything by hand. Um, and I, I do a lot of mixed media. I, I basically use all the same themes. So it's always animals and nature because I, I travel a lot and my, my message is pretty much that no matter where you go in the world, nature and animals connect everyone and everything and they don't lie uh, and they they use the earth properly so i make portraits of 
animals I spend time with. And these specific paintings with the red are, are very mixed media. It's a, a mix of sand, pigment, spray paint, acrylic paint, oil paint. It's five different shades of red. Then I have seven different blues. So I make my own blues. And uh, there's gold leaf and oil pastel. And all the materials are like sonnelier, which is a very good quality of paint. And some local paint from Senegal, because I made those there. Um, I, did I, I, I feel like I went far from the question. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's okay. It's everything that I would have mm -hmm. asked you. I totally agree that uh, your passion oh, okay. and I, yeah, towards mm -hmm. the nature and I can uh, perceive from uh, the works that you send me uh, that uh, you, you, you are stimulated by uh, the uh, different uh, form of natures so that also you use material, uh, the same natural material as far as I understand to realize the paintings and the work. So which is the environment the, in nature that you prefer in, uh, in a better way to inspire yourself so is this the sea rather than the mountains or the view of the animals oh, i love the desert the ocean the mouth the forest um as long as it's outdoors i i like the heater so i like the southern hemisphere better but I think uh, the real cold, like Scandinavia, Alaska, like winter wonderlands, I, I just, I love all of nature and I spend most of my time in it. I, I also worked with animals for a long time and worked with horses. So it's it's really pretty much what I've, I, I grew up in a very like public situation. Yeah. So nature, was what saved me my my whole life it's what stayed real um around all the people who, who could have been fake <clears throat> nature is consistent and it it's always there so how <laughs> which are the next step in your heart careers i mean i know that uh, you had to collect all your works and to to send in other destinies uh, in other towns uh, so is is this your first um collection presented to the public uh, in uh, this kind of uh, uh, events i mean is it for you the first time that you present your artworks during fashion week so no. Oh, during Fashion Week, yes, in Milan, yes, but it's been uh, since 2000, 2016 was my first art show in Paris, and then I, I kept going since then, so I've been peacefully living from that since then. Um, yeah, and it's happened, and it, I've exposed in France, in Belgium, and in Senegal, um, I hope to go to London soon, well, to expose in London soon, uh, and, and anywhere where the energy is good, the people are nice, and the yeah. space is nice. How do you and see... I've, I've... Sorry, you can uh, oh? finish. No, I was going to say... Okay, mm -hmm. so, um, please, depict me the perfect owner of your words. Who is the ideal person to have at home your work? Um, I think anyone who's into nature or magic or animals, uh, children, children really, uh, children often like the colors and the animals' expressions. Uh, and I love when children like like children are my favorite audience really and uh but in yeah 
children and, and seniors, but I think anyone can, I think anyone, because I make very different things. It can go from paintings to like ink drawings to, and there's more dark things, more like happy things. It, it really depends. I think, I think anyone could. Which was your tough, could, uh, your tough challenge in your career? I don't know if I can call it a career yet because it's it's taking. Um, but the toughest challenge, I think, Until it's now. not a challenge. But and anyone anyone who um, who makes art, I think it's just believing in yourself and just no matter what, whether you're hungry, if you have money, no money, you just got to keep moving forward. Yeah, and you just need to do it. Yeah, you, sometimes you don't know like. You don't, you don't really know anything anytime. So you don't know if you're going to sell a painting if you're not. So it's just believing. You just need to believe <laughs> and it will happen peacefully. You have a, such a, an inner power yourself, a very strong, my compliment. <laughs> and, and what is your uh, dream in the drawer? We used to say like that. It's an Italian, uh, from an Italian trans, uh, translation. Tran what what would you would like to realize one day your biggest dream as an artist i have i have a lot of dreams but my dream is to be able to help people on a large scale and to build structures um i don't my list of dreams is very long um but yeah, I just want to, if I'll just be grateful if I can keep living and making art and, and, uh, help people on my way. Like the, the more I do, the more I would want to maybe make retirement homes and, uh, help people in foster homes. I, yeah, so, social, uh, Social work with other humans is really something that, and I think helping them through animals and art for children maybe who, who aren't the best at school or who have no parents and they don't really have a chance. I think art and nature can really help them. Is there a time? So I hope to. A what? Yeah, is there a town that you feel particularly your home, your hometown? I don't like uh, cities, okay. so my home is really in nature. My I feel at home if I'm in a jungle or okay. in a sea. <laughs> That's amazing. And also, uh, the last question is, uh, Roxanne, you send me different... Uh, um, Peaks, huh? you send me different peaks of your works. Um, could you tell us uh, something, uh, some, um, you know, uh, curiosity on one, one minute? You send me different peaks. Wait, one minute. Yeah. I sent you. Um... Yes. Yeah. So, um, hello. Yeah, I I hear you. So, can can you describe uh, uh, the works you send me, and uh, if you have something behind the scenes uh, features to tell me about uh, uh, your works? Beautiful Paris over there. Uh. No, <laughs> but uh, any behind the scenes, uh, what do you mean? Well, if you have some curiosity on the shows, on the works uh, that uh, you, you are particularly uh, bond with, do you have one of your favorite words? Um, I like the crocodile that's behind yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, so... I like the 
Yeah, definitely. Everybody said that that's amazing. That amazing is very powerful image. So I know that you are plenty of appointments and business meetings. So I thank you no. so much. I thank you so much for this uh, nice talk and uh, for this interview. Um, I'm going to edit uh, a nice uh, slideshow uh, with your words. And I hope really one day to meet you in person, Roxanne. Yes, we will. Yeah? Also because I'll let you know when I when I make it back to Italy. Yeah, also because you find you have just Thank found you. an alley that is me and I love the natural and I love animals. So keep on staying tuned, Roxanne de Pardieu from Paris and uh, thank you a lot and see you soon. Hope. Okay? Thank you. Ciao, Bella. See you. Ciao, grazie. Bye. Ciao, ciao, ciao.